Hello everyone, this is Tim from TribeFan879, and, and now is start 17 of the 1971 Tom Seaver Stratomatic Advanced Replay. Today, the Mets travel to Philadelphia to take on the Phillies, and facing Tom Seaver will be Barry Lursch, and he will face the center fielder Tommy Agee to lead off top of the first. And a 1-8 against a righty ground ball to third. Vukovic over to Johnson, one down. And here is Bud Harrelson, the shortstop. And a 2-8 is a pop-up. Uh, Doyle calls for it, and that's two down here on the top of the first. And here is Cleon Jones. And a 1-5, and that'll bounce on the turf and go over the center fielder's head. And Jones will easily go to third on a triple. And here is Ed Cranepool. Two outs runner on third. And Mets looking to add, get the first run of the game. 5-2 against the lefty outside ball four. So first and third, two down. That'll bring up Art Shamsky playing right field today. And the three nines, a ground ball to second. Doyle gets it, throws to first, and that'll retire the side. The Mets strand two in the top half of the first, and we go to the bottom half. The Mets nothing, and the Phillies coming to bat. And Seaver will face Denny Doyle, who uh, assisted on that last out. And here is Doyle. And a six nine against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss, strike three, so... One down here in the first. Here is Larry Bubba, the shortstop. Three, four, ground ball to second. Boswell throws to first. Two down. And here is Tim McCarver. And a 5-5 five, five against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Seaver strikes out two in the bottom half of the first. We go to the second. No score. And Lursch will face uh, Ken Boswell, Jerry Grody, and uh, Tim Foley. And Boswell playing second base tonight. Here is the pitch to Boswell. And a 3 sevens, a ground ball to second. Doyle up with it over the first one down. And here is Jerry Grody. And a 4-9 base hit center field. So Grody with second Mets hit of the night. And here is Tim Foley. They're not holding on Grody. And a 2-10. That's a base hit center field. On um, Let's see here. No, they won't run on Montanez. And here is Seaver. They're going to bring the corners in expecting a bunt. And... Seaver will square around, make him a B bunter. Oh boy, that's going to be a double play, I think. Pops up to the catcher. And then the lead runner, he gets Grody, who strayed too far. And that's an inning ending double play. Oh boy, Mets strand a runner and could have been a bigger inning, but going in the bottom of the second, no score. And here is Deron Johnson. Uh, spoiler alert, he may have done something in a previous game against Seaver. 5-8 to the second baseman, 11 is not in range. No, and here is... Boswell, E24, will need a high roll. That's not going to do it. No, they won't even allow that. So, Bobbles it, throws, not in time. So, Johnson reaches on an error. And here's William Martinez, not holding on Johnson. He's uh, run by a sundial. And a 4-9 against the lefty shortstop X. 
And this is Harrelson, and a one, and a one, great diving stop. Shovels the second for one on the first double play. Holy cow, what a play by Harrelson. And that turns two, and here's Oscar Gamble. And that is a 4-4. Four, four. And against the lefty, that's a fly ball, a shallow center. And that is A.G. racing in to make the play, and that will retire the side. A great play by Harrelson. Saves Seaver. And we go to the third. No score. And here is Lurch, Lurch facing A.G. And a 6 11 fly ball deep left center field going back is Gamble and he will watch it go. Home run for AG and the Mets take a 1 0 lead. And 6 11 is a normal home run for either side, so we'll have to watch for that. Here's Bud Harrelson. And a 3-9, that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And that's 0-2 on the day for Harrelson. Here's Cleon Jones. The first inning triple, but did not score. And a 2-5 is a fly ball to left. Two down. Excuse me, and here's Ed Cranepool. Walked his first time up. Two down, nobody on, and the Mets lead 1-0. And a 3-6 is a ground ball to first. Johnson will take it to the base himself. And that will retire the side. But the leadoff home run by A.G. <coughs> Excuse me. Gives the Mets a 1-0 lead. And here is Seaver facing Roger Freed, John Vukovic, and Barry Lursch. 2-7. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three, so... Lead off batter down on strikes, and here is John Vukovic. And a 5 9 against the righty. That's another swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Barry Lursch, the number using pitcher hitting card number two. He is a weak switch hitter, so we'll be batting left handed. And a 1 6, and Seaver strikes out the side here in the third. And we go to the top of the fourth. Mets won, Phillies nothing. And here is Lursch to face Shamsky. And a 5-9 against the lefty fly ball shallow right field. Coming in is Roger Freed. One down, and here is Boswell. And 6-9 against the lefty. Oh, but he's weak against right-handed hitters. So that will be a base hit. Oh, man. All right, here's Jerry Grody. Four four shortstop Boa a one and a four should be easy peasy and it is so Do a Boa to Doyle to Johnson inning ending double play and that'll retire the side. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Mets lead 1-0, and back to the top of the order. Here's Denny Doyle. Two, three, line drive, caught by Crane Pool. One down. Only a one would have been a single, and that's a six. So here is Larry Boa. Two, eight, and that's a line drive base hit. So first hit for the Phillies today, and they will hold on Boa. He would be a 1-10 to 10 to try to steal, and they will not try. Actually, they may with two outs. 
but not with Jerron Johnson maybe coming up. Here's McCarver. And a 6-7 against a lefty. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. So that is six on the day for Seaver. And here is Jerron Johnson. Two down. Run around first. And the Mets leading 1-0. And a 5-11 first base X. That is Crane Pool. 14 is not in range, but he is an E4. So let's see if he can make it. E4. And a 10. Good play by Crane Pool. Gets it. Throws to Seaver covering. And that will retire the side. No runs on a hit for the Phillies here in the fourth. We go to the fifth. Mets leading 1-0. And it's Foley, Seaver, and AG coming up. And a 3-6 is a pop-up. Boa calls for it. One down. And here is Seaver, who popped into a double play his last time up. And 4-4 four -four is a shortstop X. This is not in range for Boa. A 13 would be in range, but a 12 is not. So East 12 for Boa. And no! He needed a 5 to 10, and that's a 4. And Seaver reaches on the shortstop error. Wow. Boa usually very good at defensively, at least in range, but... Makes the air there. They will not hold Seaver on. Here is A.G. homered his last time up. And 6-5 is a fly ball to left. Two down. And here is Bud Harrelson. And a 6-6 six, six against the lefty is a ground ball to second. Both go the short way to get Seaver. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom half of the fifth. one nothing Mets. And he will face Montanez, Gamble, and Freed here in the bottom of the fifth. And a 4-11 against the lefty is a fly ball to right. There is Shamsky. He will make the play one down. And here is Oscar Gamble. 9 and that's ripped the deep right field going back on it is Shamsky and this ball is gone home run for Gamble 1 to 10 is a home run he rolled an 8 so that ties the game at 1 here's Roger Freed 1-9, that's a swing and a miss, strike three, so seven on the day for Seaver. Here's John Vukovic. And a 5-9 against the righty, swing and a miss, strike three. Number eight on the day for Seaver. However, the one-out home run by Gamble ties the game at one. All right, here's Klingon Jones facing Lurch. Or Lurch, I should say. All right. Five, three, pitcher X. It's not in the top three or the bottom three for the D20, so we will roll an E14. And that's a six, and he will make the play. One down, and here is Ed Cranepool walking a ground out in two plate appearances. And a two eight, that's a base hit center field. So Cranepool is on for the second time today, and they will not hold him on. And here's Art Shamsky. Six ten. Oh, he just missed a chance for a home run. Center field X. Montanez, a four and a six. 
and then it'll get over his head and bounce off the wall. But Montanez does a nice job getting it in, and that holds Crane Pull at third. And the Mets have runners on second and third with one down. They will not look for a bunt because a squeeze play here. And here's Boswell. Five, seven. And that's a four, and that's good enough. One to 12 is a single. Base hit. Scoring is Crane Pool. Going to third is Shamsky, and the Mets retake the lead two to one. Ooh, wow, do we want to put Lurch? We might get bullpen action. Uh, Woody, actually, we're going to use Bill Champion and Bill Wilson. We're loosening the pen. And a 5 6 against the righty. Ground ball to short. Boa to Doyle to Johnson. Double play, and for the second time tonight, Jerry Grody has bounced into a double play. So, But the Mets do retake the lead 2-1. to one. Oof. Um, And I think we're going to leave him in for his point of weakness. So Lurch will lead off here in the uh, sixth. I mean, he's only given up two runs, so... I'm going to at least let him see if he can't fight through something here. Oops, excuse me. 5, 10, third base X, and that is to Foley, and that is past him for a base hit. And that's a 1, and the only player that makes a play on a 1 is a 1 fielder, so Lurch with a single past the third baseman. And here is Denny Doyle. They will not hold Lurch on. And here is Doyle. 2 8. Wow. Almost played with fire there. Ground ball to first. Throws to second for one. The relay is not in time to get Doyle. And they will not hold on Doyle as he'd be 1 to 10 even without the hold. And here is Larry Boa. For six batting lefty, ground ball to second. Boswell to Harrelson to Cranepool. Inning, inning, double play. And that is the second double play turned by the Mets tonight. And we go to the top of the seventh. 2-1 Mets. Maybe let Lurch try to get out of this inning, although he is on a very short leash. All right, here's Tim Foley. 3-4, swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Seaver. 5-8, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So he is not tired yet. This is his point of weakness inning, and he has not given up anything in it. And here is Tommy Ag. Five, six, ground ball to short. And that will retire the side, and that'll probably be it for uh, Lursch here in the seventh. He gives up two runs, so they'll try to see if their bullpen can handle it. Uh, Woody Fryman is loosening in the pen, and he will probably come in in the eighth. All right, here is Seaver. Bottom of the seventh, the crowd is saying they're taking me out to the ball games, and if you have not, you can go ahead and catch up and do it yourself. All right, he will face McCurver, Johnson, and Montanez. And a tune nine, and Seaver finds the gap again. Bouncer to Crane Pool takes it to the base himself. One down. And here is Duran Johnson. Reached on an error and grounded out. And a 2-6, and he draws a one-out one walk. And he will not be held on. And here is Willie Montanez. Th 
three, seven, fly ball to center, caught by AG two down, and here is Oscar Gamble, who's home run in the fifth inning is the Phillies lone run. And a two eight, that's an 18, so that's too high. Line drive caught by the second baseman, Boswell, and that will retire the side. We go to the top of the eighth. The uh, Woody Fryman will come in for Lursch, who has pitched a great game, but he has pitched uh, 28 batters. Okay. All right. And we'll put him in the – he's already in the game. Finishing his warm-up tosses and – Coming to bat is the shortstop, Bud Harrelson. He is 0 for 3 on the day with a pop-out, strikeout, and a ground-out. And here is Bud Harrelson. And a 6-10 against the now right-handed batter. It is a fly ball to right, and Freed will take care of that one down. Here is Cleon Jones. Or six, that's a ground ball to short, easy play for Boa. Two down, and here is Ed Cranepool. And a 5-9 against the lefty. That's a 17, but that, and that goes off the wall. And that's a two-out double for Cranepool. And here is Art Shamsky. Uh, actually, they will call him back. Ken Singleton will be batting for uh, Shamsky. Try to give him a little bit better defensively here. And also, Shamsky does not hit lefties well. So, Singleton has grabbed the bat. He has been announced. And will stay in the game and play left field. Or right field, doesn't matter. All right, and Shamsky on the day was one for three with a double. Here is Singleton. Oops. And that is a foul ball. We'll do it again. And a 6-3. Either side is a left field X. Gamble, a 3 and a 16. Should be able to make this play. And he does, however, and it's a third out, so that, that doesn't matter. So if that would have been a the second out, he would have uh, the runner would have advanced on a fly ball A. But that's the third out. So Fryman comes in, pitches a scoreless inning, and they will have uh, Joe Horner loosening in the pen. He will come in in the ninth to try to keep the game. If maybe, we'll see. Here is Seaver. He'll face Freed, Vukovic, and Bobby File, P F E I L, is grabbing a bat and he will bat for the pitcher spot. Here's Roger Freed. 6 11, ground ball to short. Harrelson up with it, one down, and here's John Vukovic. And a 6-10 is a fly ball to center field. AG, two and a 13, runs it down. Great play, and he full, ex uh, full arm extension there. And Flyle will come up, and I will have to pull up his card. I, we will pause for a moment. And here is Bobby File, two outs, nobody on, and the Mets leading two to one. And three eleven against the righty, ground ball to third, and that's fully up with it, and that'll retire the side. And let's see now, pitching will be Joe Horner. He will try to keep the Phillies 
deficit to one. And he will face Boswell, Grody, and Foley. And here's the pitch from Horner to Boswell. And a 3 a ground ball to short. Boa will take care of that. One down. And Tug McGraw and Danny Frisella are loosening in the pen in case uh, Seaver may get into some trouble. And here's Jerry Grody, grounded into two double plays and three appearances at the plate. And a 4-3 base hit the right field. And here is Tim Foley. Three nine and against the lefty, that's a, just a fly ball to left. Two down and here is Seaver, he will bat. Four six. But that's an 11, so that's just a fly ball to left. Gamble runs it down, and that will retire the side. Oh, going into the bottom of the ninth. Can Seaver get a complete game here? We will see. Face the top of the order, Doyle, Boa, and McCurver. And a 5-6 against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. And that is strikeout number nine for Tom tonight. And here is Larry Boa. 3-9. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. So 10 on the night for Seaver. And here is Tim McCarver. Last hope for the Phillies. 3-3, three, three. ground ball to first, ranging this crane pool, throws to Seaver, covering ball game. Ugh, final score, this is almost seeming like a New York Mets special. They win 2-1, to one. Seaver goes the distance, facing 30 batters, striking out 10 and only giving up 3 hits. Uh, Johnson reached on an error, but he was erased. The Gamble home run. And then uh, Lursch had a single in the uh, the fifth as well, or the sixth. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, the next game for this replay. Oops, that's on the back of this chart. Here. We will go into the month of July, and for the country's birthday in 1971, Tom Seaver faced, I believe this would be Phil Negro for the Mets. Might be Joe, I don't know. He's facing a Negro. So that is the next start for Seaver. Uh, once, once again, if you like what you see, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you are not already subscribed, uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. Whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.